Hey guys, welcome to a new video tutorial. You might have noticed that I've been away for quite a long time now, and that is because I took a break from YouTube just to kind of uh, sort my life out a bit and find out where I'm going to be going because now, if you don't know already, I am not in college anymore, I'm in a full time job. Uh, and I'm settled in there, so all my moving around and knowing where I'm going to be at what time has all been sorted out now, so hopefully I can come back to doing YouTube videos again, which I would very much like to do. So hopefully you didn't miss me too much, I'm going to be starting to do some update videos to my Gary's mod because that's starting to be outdated, some people have been requesting tutorials, obviously I'm going to start doing that again. Also my ask me questions are going to come back as well and there should hopefully be one on uh, ba -da -ba -da. Now, this Saturday coming, today is going to be Wednesday of course. Okay so today I'm going to be showing you a neat little uh, hack that I learned about Windows 7. And what it involves is breaking into a Windows 7 machine only by using sticky keys. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be doing that today. So hopefully it's, uh, you hopefully read the title and was kind of interested to what that actually meant. So what I have here is a Windows 7 machine. It's completely fresh installed and you can see at the moment there is no password on it for when this logs out. There we go, logging off. And I can just jump straight back in again. There's no password on this account. So what I'm going to do is set a password on this account. So I'm going to go start, control panel, and user accounts and family safety, and da 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 change your Windows password, create a password. So the password is just going to be password. The password hint is just going to be password, because why not? So I've created a password now, so if I log off again, which takes a while. Okay, so now there's actually a password on this machine to get into it. So, what we're going to be doing is using sticky keys, so if I do this, you can see sticky keys pops up on Windows 7 here. We're going to replace it, so when we press sticky keys five times, command prompt will open up. And if you didn't already know this, if I just log off again, uh, sticky keys works on the login screen. So that means we're going to be getting a command prompt here instead and we're going to be able to change the user's password. So the way we're going to do this is use a bootable disk and all we're going to do is simply boot into Windows 7. Uh, but instead of the Windows 7 fresh install, we're going to be booting into the Windows 7 installation disk. So that's all you need for this. So I'm going to mount the CD here, so browse, go to where I keep all my OS's and Windows 7. So I'm going to boot into it. And then I'm going to reboot this machine. So now when the uh, PC boots back up again, it's going to boot into uh, the Windows 7 installation disk. So that's all you need for this, uh, and you can get that anywhere really, Microsoft even gives it. So I'm going to boot to the CD-ROM drive, press any key to boot, and the Windows are going to load files and start up. So this is the installation for Windows 7. And then we're going to be doing a couple of commands in command prompts, so we're not actually going to be installing Windows 7 here. takes a while obviously. So once it's up we're going to obviously change our languages so United Kingdom and then click on repair your computer. Where you'd normally press install now we're just going to press repair. So it's going to search for a Windows installation and in which we will just load the one that it finds. So it says it's found Windows 7 we're going to press next and then open up the command prompt. So now what we're going to do is just do c colon backslash, which will put us in. Oh, sorry, no, we're not. We're going to do c colon, which will put us into our local disk. So this is the installation file for the actual Windows that is on the computer. We're going to go change directory to the Windows slash System32 folder, and we're going to rename cefc.exe, which is sticky keys to cefc1.exe. We're then going to rename cefc.exe, no we're not, we're going to rename cmd.exe to cefc.exe and that'll rename it. So now when we use sticky keys it's going to open up cmd instead. Because all the sticky keys does is open up a file called cefc. So all we're going to do now is just reboot the machine. And if for anyone that might be wondering at this time whether it works on Windows 8, I tried it. It took a while but eventually I just gave up because uh, Windows 8 has fixed this glitch apparently, but this works on Windows 7 and Windows Vista. 
Uh, so it's still usable today because a lot of people still use Windows 7 as you know. So starting Windows again, so I'll pause it. So here we are, we're still password protected, so I'm going to type in a bunch of random letters and it will let me in. So I'm going to press sticky keys five times. One, two, three, four, five. That was a five times apparently. There we go. Oh, it's gone again. There we go. So we've got a little CMD box here, and now this is the actual um, this is the actual command prompt for this Windows-based machine. So we can browse everything. But what we're going to do is type in net user and then Jack, and then we're going to type in a new password. So my password is going to be Jack. That's changed the password. If I type in Jack, it lets me into the machine. So this is a big glitch within Windows 7 and it was fixed in Windows 8 but it was allowed to continue from Windows Vista to Windows 7. So hopefully you enjoyed this video tutorial, remember not to use this for, only use this for educational purposes only, blah 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 blah. So if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe and visit the forums and share your views and opinions on this video. Thank you for watching and I shall see you again next time.